Hi guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for me, everyone. So this time we have Pixel OS based on Android 14, and I have been using this ROM about a week now. I have already tested everything as much as possible. So first of all, let's check what we are getting with this ROM and Android 14. So this is Android 14 based, and the secret patch level is 1st of October 2024. The setting panel looks like this, pretty much stockish, nothing special here as a Pixel ROM. You are not getting any kind of customization here so in terms of wi-fi bluetooth and hotspot everything is working perfectly fine even the bow lt and bow wi-fi both of them working so both of them are viable the battery backup is pretty good i haven't faced any kind of drain issue on this rom it's quite decent sound and vibration working perfectly fine no issue as you can see here and in the additional setting you are getting all other things here and you are also getting powered up volume control so if you want that you can turn it on in the display section we are getting adaptive brightness working perfectly fine if you want dark mode dark mode is available night light tap to awake tap to sleep both of them work perfectly fine no issue with that so as you can see here double tap to awake double tap to sleep both of them work and in terms of wallpaper and style clock size and other things are available and in terms of wallpaper so AI wallpaper and emoji wallpaper, both of them are revival. Imaginary. Let's try to create a wallpaper and create wallpaper. So now it is creating. It takes time actually to create AI wallpaper on this device. So as you can see here, the wallpaper is, we can use that set as wallpaper home screen so AI wallpaper is working and if you want emoji wallpaper so that is also available and also you are getting a lot of built-in wallpaper and in the mode and log screen options we do have few other things like dynamic clock a work screen for notification we don't really have any kind of AOD here and we don't really need AOD on this device because it has IPS display and in the security and privacy section so both face and fingerprint unlock works perfectly fine no issue with that so let me show you fingerprint unlock very fast so let's try face unlock so as you can see here face unlock is working perfectly fine so both of them works perfectly fine no issue with that in the system setting we are not getting much actually in the gestures setting we are getting few things here like swipe fingerprint for notifications i did turn it on but it doesn't work actually most of the time so if i try now as you can see here it is not working we do have navigation mode although i turned on full screen navigation but doesn't work only i can go to home screen and i can check the multitasking application but i can't go back so i have to use the soft buttons so like this we have to use and three finger gesture working perfectly fine you can take a screenshot that is survival so here are some issues but it's still pretty decent actually and that's all what we are getting in the settings nothing much and in terms of application as you can see here this is a gfs build you can get this rom in vanilla build too the rom did come with a camera application the camera application as you can see here it is working perfectly fine no issue with that you can take picture you can record video but we are not getting any kind of access to our telephoto lens so that is not available even i did install a gcam here proper gcam we are not getting any kind of telephoto lens support on this camera too so you have to stuck with the main lens and main lens still take decent pictures and the camera application does work perfectly fine so maybe you have to download a specific version which access the telephoto camera lens to use on this device uh, maybe you can find that application but here i have installed two of them none of them has telephoto camera lens access now if we check the google photos unlimited storage so the Google Photos Unlimited storage is available. So you can upload unlimited photos on your Google account. And one of the amazing thing of this ROM is that you are getting Google Magic Editor. So that is working. And it doesn't work on many, many devices. Actually, most of the custom ROM I tried, the feature doesn't work. But on this ROM actually is working. So let's check that. Now if we try Magic Editor, so we can select the object.
and as you can see it is automatically selected the object now we can erase so it will erase the object and it works really well actually so as you can see here it's pretty good now you can like keep this picture save a copy so as you can see here the picture we have saved pretty decent work and works perfectly fine so that is a well surprisingly it works really well i did try phone call on this rom and as you can see here bo lte and bo wi-fi both of them working perfectly fine as you can see here and the recording option also working so i did record a hopefully you can hear that so that is survival so recording is working bo lte bo wi-fi both of them working perfectly fine i haven't faced major issues here actually but few things are here which are not really good like we are not getting any kind of google play protect certification that means we can't use bank application here so that is one of the downside as you can see here device is not certified and in terms of gaming the gaming performance was kind of good much better than the stock ui i will say obviously this device is not really for gaming anymore you can still play offline games like subway surf temple run maybe free fire will work perfectly fine on this device but heavier games like pubg mobile call of duty these games struggle a lot but still i did play call of duty on this rom if you are not serious you can still do gaming on here so that's all about pixel os for me a1 i will put the rom link in the description below if you want to try this rom that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one
Killer drone. 